Hey Rick Maniacs, welcome back to another Friday sit rep. The rumors are true. We do indeed have another Mad Minute sale going on today, running all the way through this weekend uh, and wrapping up on Monday. So you will get a chance to uh, take a crack at some of the Monday restocks as well. Otherwise, all the new stuff dropping today is eligible. Uh, one of the things that's not eligible is elite memberships, however, uh, which those have been relaunched for 2023. Um, if you're not an elite member currently and you pick up an elite membership uh, after the one to three business day activation period, uh, you will actually receive those benefits, including the free ship offer uh, through the rest of 2022 and all through 2023 as well so you don't have to wait for the change in the new year to get those benefits and if you're already a elite member it will uh, it will uh, secure that for you for the uh, additional year of 2023 as well and then obviously your membership will continue through 2022 we also have another Holly's Hall up online right now so if you haven't circled back through the building kits category uh, or the sale items make sure to do so because there is some new stuff on there once again very very low quantities um, and if you are a part of our email you're getting some of the highlights uh, already sent to your inbox for that, which is awesome. Otherwise, we've got a brand new Humvee uh, and a new minifig pack pre-order, so let's head on into the design room, take a little closer look. All right, we're continuing with the uh, armor building Humvee series. Uh, this one done in tan and does come with the option uh, to add up to two Marines to complete a crew for this bad boy, but does not come with any minifigures standalone. So here we are now in the design room. We got Dan to go over some of the, uh, the, the updated build techniques used uh, for this new Humvee series uh, that we are returning. Well, uh, this is an obvious extension of our, of our previous Humvees. Um, we're replacing a lot of the complicated builds with some more simple builds. Doesn't mean that's any less of a vehicle. What it actually means is it's going to cost you less. Yeah, nice. So, What's wrong with that? So uh, I've been working on uh, simplifying the builds, uh, getting rid of like these really piece-intensive uh, uh, sub-builds, um, most notably you, the, the absence of the built grill. Mm -hmm. um, this will be printed. I just don't have a printed gop. Yeah, this, still a this being a prototype. So I did steal some of the other printed parts from previous Humvees from years gone by. But uh, the idea being... Um, we're standardizing all the Humvees. They all have this really sturdy base. Mm -hmm. um, the idea is that you can put figures in it, you can play with it without like pushing the guys through the floor. Sandbox kid, right? Right, right. It's, it. it's just so like, you know, you know, grown grown uh, kids like me can I play with it without necessarily having to worry about <laughs> busting it up right dumping the dumping the guys through the through the, through the floor or or otherwise just breaking it by handling i mean it's 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 sturdy it's nice. not going to go anywhere you can't you can you push down on it it's the wheels aren't going to pop off or anything like that's that that's awesome so, that is awesome uh, it was one thing i mean this is like a you know years of, of progressive design changes to, to get to this point uh, here we are the marine corps version it's it's just basically replacing the previous marine corps version that we had mm -hmm. nothing wrong with it it just wasn't in in uh, the same uh, building style so we're, we're standardizing everything well and as you can see the body style is fairly similar to the uh, to the humvee we released a little bit earlier this year uh, but where things really change is in that turret configuration well the turret's different obviously the color's different what mm -hmm. a lot of things you can't see are under the hood okay so like i mean i'll just show you this this hood does open up you know you can you can take the mm -hmm. take the the the, the, the into air intake out um, it does have like the the simulated grill, radiator you know, the radiator. Stuff, yeah. stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't make it any bigger without without compromising the strength. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's in there. Um, people are asking, "Hey, does the does the hood open?" Does yeah, it does. The same I'm thing. Not sure what you're going to do with the hood open, except maybe you have a couple of guys with a wrench in there. Yeah, sure. Uh, but typically speaking, it's just the radiator under there. So what are they going to be wrenching on anyway? So uh, <laughs> in in real life, uh, let me pull the turret off. This is this is a, a Marine Corps turret. Um, oops, it came off in two pieces, but that's. Lego, anything is possible. So it, it's designed to be collapsible. So they can go into like a, a, a ship with a low ceiling or an aircraft with a low oh, ceiling. Interesting. So that's the whole point of the collapsible uh, turret. This front will come off. You can actually change the front the configuration to put in a smaller gun. So if you wanted an M240, that thing doesn't have to be pushed all yeah, the way sure. out there. Uh, it can be it can be changed with a few parts of your own. You can you can go ahead and change that that, that turret front no customization problem. options. Nothing right, wrong with that. You know, and, and I, we will come out with one with the M240. So there will be like in the future, like oh look, this is how they do it. So mm -hmm. um, for now, this is it. If you're like putting this inside of a vehicle, like say a heli, you know, like a, a an aircraft or something, or a ship, you pull the front off. This would just lay down on top of the uh, top of the roof before it you, gets loaded onto its LCAC. Right, right. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think an LCAC matters height wise. Right, right. Uh, but I say, like, what if you're in a, in a ship that the cargo the, the cargo deck doesn't have mm -hmm. the high ceilings? Uh, that's the whole pur purpose of this collapsible. Um, turret kit so that's it's 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 very marine corps specific and obviously easy to remove and just make a, a plain roof well as if you don't yeah. care to have a, a turret on top there well and you know the, the humvees by by yeah. default have a have Love a whole sub model this one this the actual one will have a dark tan i, I don't want people to think because we're look we're looking at a prototype kit. yes um I, I did find that replacing these 
with the different color actually saves you quite a bit of dough. So, oh, nice. Okay. Uh, which just means to the customer quite a bit of dough. Still has the opening doors. Um, you know, you can fit four guys easily inside of this without any problem. Even if they're wearing the brick arms packs, the brick arms, uh, the vests, the plate carriers, nice. they'll still fit without any problems. That stud on the back won't interfere with anything. Uh, does have the opening trunk uh, capability, and you have the spare tire can be moved, and you have the tailgate that goes down. So it's 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 fairly like. You know, let's let's. You know, I remember like when I was a kid, Corgi made beautiful like die cast cars. They mm -hmm. all had functioning doors and, mm -hmm. and, and matchbox as well. And I was like, this is this is the standard that we want for our vehicles. Heck yeah! And, well, so. it, it increases the uh, the ability to integrate into mocks for sure too. Right, you can uh, make you know, it you're loading stuff up or, or doing whatever if they're if they're stationary. And then you you bundle that with the uh, durability and playability. You can pretty much use it for for right. whatever your heart's desire. So, be. give 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 you a view of the other side without the. Without the uh, uh, exhaust, this exhaust will actually be printed. So, oh yeah, kind of it's, similar it's, it's to one of these Lego elements that really only comes in one color. It mm -hmm. comes in light gray, or a chrome version if you're lucky to find a really old one. Um, but we, you know, obviously light gray is not, you know, a shiny new object. Kind of the side of a vehicle is kind of yeah, kind of right. stands out. So we are blasting it with ink to get that to be a different color. It's not painted; it's printed, so that ink will not come off. Cool. That is absolutely fantastic. The new series continues. Uh, I think people are going to be happy about this uh, new new price point, especially considering the fact that it's eligible for the Mad Minute sale running right now as well. <laughs> right. So you're gonna, you, this is this is a good time to order this. You're going to get it a pre order. I mean, you're going to be pre ordering, so you're not going to get it till like j right. end of January. But if you pre order it now, you'll get a huge discount on it. Mm -hmm. um, Print the, off the web page and stuff that and post somebody's stocking. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, we are going to make some. Th there there is an option with this that you will be able to order a uh, a, a new version it's an updated marine infantry guy yeah up to two correct so you'll have two you'll have a guy he's they're gonna have ammo pouches we are going to be working on in the future other other uh, uh specialist infantry guys that'll mm -hmm. be standalone so you'll have you know they won't all have the same you know three three uh, m4 magazines um there'll be some that have different different configurations um so watch for those in the future so you'll have other other driver options that'll be just a standard standalone evergreen figure that we're going to release for 2023 um so we'll have the vehicles will come without guys, but we will we will maintain like an inventory of riflemen plus um, other vehicle operators that will come out separately. So you will have the option to customize your crew with more options on the way as well. That's some seriously exciting news, but we're not done yet. We've got even more to check out uh, on the sit rep here, uh, but let's wrap it up with the Humvee for now. Dan, thanks for checking in. You're welcome. All right, we are now still in the design room at the desk of Amanda. You know her as MN Art Girl, taking a little closer look at something, well, very different for Brickmania, uh, but also kind of poses its own challenges in the sense that there's not exactly a lot of uh, historical references <laughs> for the adventurers. So we're going to go through some of these here. They are still on pre-order, uh, so Amanda's going to take us through some of the artwork uh, that she created for this figure pack. Yeah, so uh, being a big nerd myself, um, this was fun. Um, totally from the imagination, my art board looks more like a wish board, to be honest. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so this is the wizard. Um, and so he's got lots of pouches, because, you know, lots of pouches are always needed. Wizards wizard. carry lots of things, yes. It's his tome of spells. Wizards have to sit and learn their spells every time. They they burn one, they don't know it anymore, is often <laughs> the common lore. A uh, little focus on his chest. I got a little crystal there, because why not? Some scrolls. Uh, lots of belts. I don't know why. I just thought it'd be fun. They look cool though, <laughs> layered like that. I mean, that is definitely yeah. the look for sure. So a little bit of challenging to sit and play with how that would look wrapping around a square torso, but it was lots of fun. Um, we had an abundance of red torsos. I asked uh, production. I said, "What do we have? What color is my what, wizard going to be? What, what do we have?" And <laughs> I'm like, ah, "I'll make it a challenge," and it was. Um, but red. I was like, "Sweet, roll with red." Very cool. Um, got some. These arms are not printed. They um, this way they are going to actually be dark tan substrate okay. on the arms. Um, and then uh, I thought, you know what, we're going to do a wraparound head. Yeah, um, I love the tattoos. That is awesome. Yeah, so a 360 wraparound head. Um, got a couple little tattoos peeking out the collar too. So this guy's tatted up. Um, yeah, I was playing around with a character in D and D. <laughs> um, weird game. Um, and. Uh, had an idea for uh, some magical tattoos, and so I was like, you know what, actually, <laughs> I'll just check it out here. First. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, so yeah, these are the renders, and this is the sweet uh, wizard focus um, that, you know, wizards need their focuses uh, that uh, camera guy Austin made for us. That's awesome. Uh, 
Um, so that's a 3D printed original piece. It actually gets the bionicle eye mm -hmm. interacting with it. Uh, that was kind of a classic nod to what everyone does mm -hmm. for their wizards. Yep. It's like usually the uh, lightsaber or the uh, uh, telescope. Whatever they can work with, to be yeah, honest, because exactly. there isn't much out there. Uh, so that was a fun little nod, and also get a little splash of color in there. So yeah, that's and this uh, this I found this cool uh, hair piece from the old orcs. Yeah, um, that totally luckily, works too. Shows off the tattoo hair, nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was I was trying to think of something that would be kind of fun. So mm -hmm. he's he's not your traditional uh, Gandalf. I wanted to kind of. There's so many awesome already made lego versions of like the kind of grade old wizard yeah right no this is definitely yeah, a different like, direction i like it yeah some, something a little different mm -hmm. so. yeah that's really uh, cool moving on we have the rogue yeah the dwarf rogue the i know dwarf. there were some people out there who thought it was a halfling no halflings are shorter than dwarves though. <laughs> and we got we got the mini legs they uh, can actually bend yeah, right they yeah that's bend. awesome so that the, the awesome. teen legs if afols are out there we call them teen legs mm -hmm. then the kid legs are the ones that are static and can't move so mm -hmm. if we ever make that we'll have to, you know something that'll shorter. be the halfling yeah right like that's happen. funny uh, 3D printed uh, blade with yeah, some awesome that that uh, art awesome. from Slam, perfect caliber. Um, I was looking for some daggers. I'm like, I want her to have a cool dagger, and uh, yeah, I I didn't find one. So mm -hmm. was, you made it. I Nothing made wrong it. with that. Shadow blade. That's an awesome name for it too. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wasn't geeking out on us. <laughs> um, no, I totally was. Um, yeah, some more belts. Uh, throwing knives. Throwing love it. knives. Gotta get the throwing knives in there. They leather like, armor. Is leather that kind of what you got yep, going on yep, there? Yeah. Okay. Added leather armor. That reads super well. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that was that was fun. Um, didn't want to like over sexualize a mini fig either, so I was kind of mm -hmm. like, well, we'll play with some highlights. Well, leather armor isn't exactly like figure exactly. fitting, anyways. <laughs> um, I got some kind of cool boots on there from some stealthing. Mm -hmm. uh, some more. So I got some leather, but it's a little muted, or not leather, uh, some metal, mm -hmm. uh, but kind of tried to keep it a little muted. Don't want to be too shiny. Yeah, especially um, if you're on the we'll rooftop, it, like the action shot shows. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll show. We'll see if it shows up um, when print. I'm hoping it does, but I kind of beat it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, anything they can do to to stop the shines from happening. This right? stuff is not brand new. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and then yeah, we got kind of this badass dwarf face you know she's keeping it cool yeah this does not look like a person you mess with no matter how tall they are yeah no and that's that was kind of the thing like i was i was kind of going for a little bit of a, a, a sparky little dwarf mm -hmm. who's out there stealing stuff maybe the mouth of the party oh definitely the mouth <laughs> of the party um i also realized after i made the art that this is my sister <laughs> <laughs> there you go came back uh a couple days later to work on something else and was passing I'm like god i know that face i can't figure out why hey sis you're and, a minifig now um yeah and i was like oh crap that's my that that's my sister i kind of <laughs> made my sister's face she's a bit of a punk sometimes that's cool that's um, really cool yeah it, it worked <laughs> some easter eggs that people would never get to know unless they watch this video exactly well and she she likes to play rogues when we play D, &D so there you go uh yeah so Cool little hood, little mm -hmm. leather piece. That's that's the rogue. Fantastic. Moving on to the paladin. Moving on to the paladin. So I wanted to make sure that the paladin not only uh, came with cool armor, mm -hmm. but also had like you could take it off and he'd still look yes. pretty cool. Um, so I uh, did the padding underneath. So just the nice little kind of crisscross pattern. Mm -hmm. Um, got the and that's kind of a new room. take on some chainmail in the sense that it's more of a texture and yeah. not necessarily individual little rings. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to play around with it. I mean, um, the fallback was doing what uh, had been come up with for uh, Joan Bark. Yeah, sure. Which looked awesome. It mm -hmm. was like I loved it. Um, but I just I was kind of like, well, what else? It evolves. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's really cool. S see if maybe next time a combination between the two. Mm -hmm. um, see what we get. But yeah, so some custom elements there you can see. Yeah, so here's the uh, made up these new armor mm -hmm. and it went with the big pauldrons, you know, pauldrons, pauldrons. Anyway, <laughs> however you say words, um, a shield. Figured, you know, you gotta kind of do that. We played it around with the idea of having a helmet, and we're like, you know. People want to see the faces. See face. Yeah, right. I feel that. And uh, there's only so many pieces you can put in, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And uh, so kind of close up on the, the art. Uh, got some nice gradients going to kind of get that. Yeah, those legs. Look. That that armor reads awesome. The texture differences between that that leather or the the, uh, the cloth padding and then the foot. That's awesome. Yeah. 
So yeah, had fun with his face too. Mm-hmm. Decided to like, yeah, he's kind of battle worn. Got to give him got a star. Got a little smirk going on there too. Like he, he knows he's got the upper hand. He's got the got the high <laughs> rise um, going, so he, he's seeing a little bit of action. Mm-hmm. You know? And uh, classic uh, Damian Blade. Yes, thank you, Brick uh, Arms. Brick Arms to, for the win. Uh, and then last, uh, one of my favorite things to play was always been a uh, yeah. ranger. Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, Rangers are good times. Um, got lucky. Uh, found someone with a bunch of these hairs piece unprinted, so we will be UV printing the ears. Sweet. Um, and then uh, she is just she's ready. She's she's a beast hunter. Got this is definitely on. more of that like Middle Earth looking lore than yeah. than the uh, than other other areas. I think in general elves have such a standard thought behind them. Like when people think elves. It, so it's kind of hard to break too far away. Yeah, there's from some that specific ranger. images that come to mind. I yeah. agree. Um, so I kind of kept with that. Uh, got some, you know, high elves. They, they mm-hmm. have fancy armor, even if they're in the woods. Yep. Uh, got kind of a tactical belt thing going on over here. Some pouches. Um, got a little knife in the boot. Mm-hmm. Uh, these boots are actually based off of. Um, <laughs> Old the uh, boots that my dad used to have for oh, he was working at the Renaissance, <laughs> um, and I was like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make those. Got some decided to make some kind of cool under uh, the arm, how the tunic kind of laces up. Mm-hmm. Little Cape Madness cape yeah, there to bring it all together. Madness, yep. And then uh, yeah, some uh, some cuffs, and yeah, so it's good stuff. Um, a lot very, of very very cool. Um, gave her just the classic Lego bow. You know, mm-hmm. can't go wrong. Um, one day we might try our own, but for now I think we're pretty good. Yeah. And uh, and then a quiver, just a nice little quiver on the back, uh, since a Lego quiver wouldn't interact very well with, with the, the cape. Hair. Yeah, and the hair. Yeah, yep, I hear that. Exactly. Played with it. Um, thought about doing like a hip one or something, and uh, they just always get in the way there. So. Yep. Plus, it's a nice piece of artwork too. It looks yeah. right, especially with that uh, the belt strap coming across the front of the chest there as well. Yeah, so, so yeah, I had a lot of fun with uh, playing with some different textures and stuff. Yeah, absolutely awesome. Definitely a different direction uh, for Brickmania, but something that, uh, you know, we, we continually explore different avenues and, and yeah. stuff that inspires us. And so that's really cool to see um, in these. Uh, well, I'll definitely be picking up a pack. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, you, you and me both. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, thank you very much, Amanda, for checking in and uh, go pick up your adventurers. All right, so that'll just about do it here on a Friday. Remember, you can take advantage of that Mad Minute sale both in stores and online all weekend long through Monday. Uh, That's when that sale will wrap up. Another quick note, too, before we take off here, I know some people have been asking about uh, an announcement for the raffle winners from the various shows, including uh, Brick Fair Virginia uh, and Brick Fair Brick Fair. Pennsylvania, I want to say Philly, Brick Brick Fair Philly, that's what it was. Um, So just to put your mind at ease, we have already contacted all three of the winners uh, from those raffle prizes, but I'll do just a quick congratulations here. Uh, Congrats to Deanne, John, and Richard. Those are our three winners uh, of the various raffle bundles that we had for the Ukraine benefit uh, at those shows. So those winners have been contacted. Uh, Hopefully hopefully you guys are enjoying your prizes, the some of you that have received that already. Otherwise, that will do it for me here on a Friday. Thank you very much for watching.